Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be showing you the features of the iPad, Apple's new tablet. First of all, it'll have all the apps that the iPod came with and also remade for the iPad. You have Safari, which looks nice, and Apple claims the best way to browse the internet. You have Mail, which is more like the Mac version. It's kind of like a mix, and it's nicer because you can multitask almost. Well, you can do it a lot easier than you can on your iPod. Then you have photos, which looks a little nicer, sort of almost like a 3D-ish effect on the albums, but it looks great, and if you're a photo enthusiastic, you'll love this. You have video, which is just bigger with a high resolution, and you have YouTube, which is a nicer version, which is sort of like a mix between the, the Mac and the iPod. Your iPod looks like iTunes, almost. And the only problem with this is you probably wouldn't be carrying this tablet around just to listen to your music. iTunes is very similar to the iTunes on your computer, although it's specially designed for the iTablet, touch screen, and everything like that. Then you have the App Store, which looks very nice. I really like, I would really like an enhancement on the App Store, which would be great. And it has 140,000 apps, one of uh, the biggest mobile app industry in the world and to be going with Apple that's just great because they made them and that's like one of the biggest emphasis you'll ever have because it can run any app it just runs them in a the small mode unless they're pre-designed for this iTablet. Next you have is books which is just ebooks and you can read your books on your device which is nice I guess I don't know I probably wouldn't do that you could also get textbooks I believe and next you have Maps, which is just like Google Maps, but it looks a lot, it looks more like Google Earth, or sorry, my bad. It's Google, and it, it just looks a lot nicer, bigger. Then you have Notes, which they're going to be selling all of iWork for $10 a piece of the programs, so I don't think this would be coming too handy, but it is. it does look pretty nice, so you can check that out if you get an iTablet. Calendar and contacts are redesigned, but I'm not going to go into those since I don't think they're very important. Then you have the home screen, which looks nice with a changeable background, I believe, and a nice looking, nicer looking dock. And then there's lastly Spotlight Search, which is just their search, looks just like the iPod. That's it for the features, and we're going to go into the next section. Just click on the next video which can be seen on our channel.